What's going on guys, Tristan24 here, welcome back to another video on the channel today. I have for you my championship predictions for Metric 41 in the championship. Of course, we've got a lot of big games today. Some big games in the playoff race at the top, at the bottom and a few in the middle. Of course, for teams wanting to just try and get some results so they're building towards next season. But, of course, we're more focused on the top and bottom, aren't we? We want to know the action. Before we get into the video, then please do smash a like and subscribe. And on screen now is going to be the Prediction League. Thank you everyone who has been taking part. I really appreciate that. And it's getting really close now in the Prediction League. So, you know, if you, if you joined, you know, you could get like 36 points. I think it is in one match week, which is, you know, you go top of that if you've got every single... Uh, prediction right in the one match week and we start off at Bramall Lane for Sheffield United against Bournemouth a massive game of course Bournemouth midweek lost one of their games in hand to West Brom and Sheffield United they're just flying at the moment aren't they they beat QPR midweek as well 1-0 in this one I'm going to make it interesting and with Sheffield United 2 Bournemouth 1 Bournemouth, I don't know, I think they're a little bit too ahead of themselves at the moment. I still think they'll get second. But Sheffield United need the points a little bit more, to be honest, because that playoff places are so, so tight. You know, one, one match week and you're out of it, and then another match week you'll be back in it. So you have to do the job yourself and then rely on the other teams. You can't just rely on them and not get the result yourself. So Sheffield United, I do think they'll win at home 2-1 against a sluggish Bournemouth side. Up next is West Brom against Stoke. West Brom really hard to predict recently. Same with Stoke, they're so inconsistent. I think West Brom for next season will be quite interesting. I think it'll be quite an underdog, surprisingly, under Steve Bruce for promotion. Um, and Stoke, I think next season they can do something really good. Um, of course, they're up there for so long this season in the first half. And the second half of the season, they've just got a little bit too carried away uh, and lost focus. But I think next season, both of these teams will be in the playoff race. There's not a lot rising on this game. It's just a uh, highest finish now for these two. But I am going to back the hosts, the Baggies, West Brom, to win 3-1. Up next is Bristol against Peterborough. Peterborough looking like they're on their way back down to League 1. Bristol slipping down to 19th after last match week. Um, but, you know, next season, they could even be in the playoff race. I'd love to see Bristol go up to the Premier League. Um, it's just their defence. They just need to sort it out. And for some reason, I just cannot see it happening under Nigel Pearson. But in this one, I'm going to back the away side to make the relegation battle a little bit more um, interesting. Of course, Red in the like eight points clear now of Barnsley, who have one game in hand on them. Um, Peterborough are quite a few points off Barnsley, but if they win this one, never say never. Never say never in the championship. So I'm going to say Bristol City 1, Peterborough 2. Millwall against Barnsley is the next one. Of course, Millwall did suffer a 1 0 defeat to my team Swansea in the midweek, and Barnsley. I have no idea when they last played, to be honest, uh, with you. But, you know, it was against Redden last weekend, wasn't it? They had a 1-1 draw. Um, and it was really even game, to be honest, in that one. But for this one, I'd love to see Barnsley get something. I just think Millwall will be just too strong. Um, but to make the relegation battle interesting, I'd love to see Barnsley come away with three points here. But I think at the den, Millwall will just about nick it 1-0. Up next is Middlesbrough against Hull. Hull, they should be safe, I reckon. Middlesbrough, of course, still fighting for the playoff places. Um, I think they'll get a 3-0 home win here against Hull. Blackburn against Blackpool next up. Now, Blackpool, of course, did lose the local derby to Preston midweek. Blackburn, of course, suffered um, a late, um, you know, they conceded a late equaliser at the weekend to Coventry. That would have been a massive three points of Blackburn, of course. They now have Bradley Dak back, fully fit, and Ben Broughton Diaz. So, if Blackburn, if Blackburn are serious about making the playoffs, it's still a good 
chance because many Blackburn fans, I'm sure, would have pictured themselves when Ben Brereton Diaz got injured. It would have been in a worse situation than this. They're not in that bad of a situation. You know, all they need is one team above them to drop points and they're straight in it. It's that close. Um, I think they'll win here. 2 1 at Ewood Park for Blackburn. Forest against Birmingham, now this will be an interesting one. Forest, of course, against Coventry midweek. They just won again. They cannot stop scoring, especially that man, Brennan Johnson. Birmingham, they are really tough to play against. Uh, and they won last time out, of course. I think that was against West Brom um, last weekend. Um, Lyle Taylor, of course, he won't be available for this game because he was, of course, on loan from Nottingham Forest. It's just Birmingham cannot score recently. Uh, apart from last well, Saturday, of course. But in this one, Forest are going to bat him for another 2-0 win. Um, and surely Forest make the playoffs now. Surely. They're in there now. They've got, I think, two games in hand on the teams above them. So, yeah. Just win them and keep on winning. And they will be fine, really. I think they will finish in the playoffs. Preston against QPR is the next one. Now, QPR, of course, everyone at the start of the season was thinking they will get the playoffs where are they now? Ninth. Um, and it doesn't look like they're going to get them. Never say never, though. No. I think they're only four points off it or three points off it. So still, anything going to happen for them. I'm going to back them to beat Ryan Lowe's Preston North End. 2-1 away in this one. Reading against Cardiff is the next one. Reading, of course, won the reverse fixture 1-0. And I do think they'll do the same here against struggling Cardiff. I think they'll win 1 0 at home. Swansea against Derby County is the next game. Now, Derby, it's so, it's so annoying for them because if you added another 10 games onto the season, you'd say almost certainly they'd almost, you know, you'd probably say that they have enough points to survive if you add another few match weeks onto the end. It looks like they're just going to miss out on surviving. But, of course, this, this season last year, Derby were in a similar position, um, in a similar place. Of course, they had to win. Um, then when Sheffield United were in the relegation battle, I think this is the match week 45 last year. Uh, anyway, Derby went 1-0 up and Swansea quickly turned it out around 2-1. I'd love to see Derby win, but of course it's my team Swansea and I'm not going to get them to beat us. So I'm going to say the way we've been playing recently, as well, so not just being completely biased, we have been on fire. So if we can make it three wins in a week, I don't think we've done that this season. We've had so many clean sheets recently as well. I think we've got 16 all season now, which is brilliant. I think we're going to get our 17th year and another three points to hopefully move us into the top half of the championship. So once you two, Derby nil. Up next is the Sunday game, I'm pretty sure, or a Monday game, it's one of them. It is Fulham against Coventry. Of course, the reverse fixture. Coventry were flying and they won this one 4-1. However, since that game, times have changed. Uh, Fulham are, of course, top and Coventry are slipping away. I don't think they'll get their playoffs now. They've left it a bit too late. Of course, they've slipped away from the start of the season, which is a little bit disappointing. But, of course, you can't... Um, doubt or criticise the job that Mark Robbins has done at Coventry, still superb um, and a memorable season for the fans really, just unfortunate that they couldn't carry it through but next season will be really exciting for them also brilliant home form anyway, in this one I think Fulham will get the 3 points and a 3-1 win at home the final game of this match week, match week is a massive, massive, massive playoff game it could even be a semi-final, even a final in this, this year's playoffs if they both make it. It's Huddersfield against Luton Town, this one. I cannot separate them. Both unreal recently. Um, and if you pick one to get the three points, it, the, the other probably will um, drop a few places down. So I cannot separate them. I'm going to go 2-2, two, two, a thrilling game in this one. And guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you've all enjoyed. If you have, please do drop a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Also, check out the Premier League predictions that I'm doing. It should be up by the time this video is up. It should be up before this. 
Um, so make sure you go check that out. Of course, if you're a long serving championship fan of a championship club, then have a look who you could be facing next season, how you're doing and how I think they'll get on this week, of course. If you stay to the end, you're an absolute legend. Drop your predictions below to be in the Prediction League. And I'll see you in the next video very soon, guys. Until then, take care. Goodbye.